It's Sunday. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. It's time for the tropical update. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. As always, we've been here every day of hurricane season, keeping you updated on the latest in the tropics, whether it's busy or not so busy. And this is the time of the year when things become not so busy. And we're thankful for that as we kind of review back. Well, first of all, we only go through the end of November. That's the official season for hurricane season last through November. But remember, if something crazy were to happen and in the past, occasionally something forms in December, it does count towards the 2025 totals. So when we talk about whatever numbers we've seen so far, there's always the chance that it could be altered a little bit as we finish up the rest of this calendar year, but we did have a season that saw three category five hurricanes, and this is the first time uh, in 20 years that we've seen that. It's only actually the second time that we're ever aware of of that happening. 2005 was the last time that that had happened and the only other time that we're aware of in the Atlantic Basin and something just to kind of the note there, just the the idea of a storm becoming a category five is rare in the last 100 years. Only 3% of all of the tropical cyclones that form would become a category five hurricane. So again, it's just not something that's super common and to have three of those in one year, uh, very rare indeed. But what's also interesting is that we really only had two hurricanes this year that made impacts to land and Melissa being the most recent one, of course, and Imelda was the other one, and it hit only Bermuda, which I don't want to short sell Bermuda, but that was, you know, not another landmass. It was sort of a smaller one as far as the targets go, um, as far as what we saw land falling hurricanes, and we did not see any land falling hurricanes in the continental US. And this is the time of year when, especially us here in the Gulf Coast, are protected from fronts that get moving in. They easily steer those hurricanes away from landfall. So officially from the National Hurricane Center, not expecting any sort of formations of tropical cyclones within the next seven days. And as I mentioned, that's sort of getting towards the end of the year. So we had five hurricanes, Four of those were major hurricanes, and then the other one that, that didn't quite make major status was Emilda. And again, that one is one of the hurricanes that did actually make a landfall, and Bermuda is where it kind of ran over as it was running through into the Atlantic. And Melissa will certainly be the one that is most remembered for what it did to Jamaica and has also moved over Cuba and into the, the Caribbean uh, and into the northern, the Bahamas and into the Atlantic. Um, that one, Category 5, it made landfall as a Category 5, which is kind of the worst case scenario there. When we're in November, there are a few areas that we can focus on a little bit more. When we see development, it would be more common to see it over in the western portions of the Caribbean, also over in the far western portions of the Atlantic, sort of in the Bahamas area. And the reason why we see this formation in the Caribbean is because of the Central American gyre. This is a, a low pressure system that kind of loiters, hangs out here above Central America during the time of the year. Sometimes it spins some up some storms and they get a little bit more to organize and they become tropical cyclones. Uh, and then you got to kind of watch where they end up going. But most of the time that is a formation area, not necessarily an impact or a track area. Our peak of hurricane season for the whole year is usually September the 10th, so the middle of September. This was a very unusual season, kind of similar to last year, though, in which this was a very quiet time for us. Uh, but these records that we're tracking go all the way back to the 1850s. And yes, there is a fish, you know, there has officially been some hurricanes and tropical cyclones that have happened in December, but again, it's very rare. So we'll kind of wrap things up, hopefully keeping things quiet as we move through the rest of the month. And we're glad you're here keeping updated on Fox 26.